Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Jean and I'm doing great. So are we ready for another video? I know I am. Pull from the jar time. Pull from the jar time. I love this series so much because it does a couple of things. It lets me be creative and it helps to use up some of my supplies that I have, right? I have so many supplies uh, and I don't use them nearly as much as I should. So pull from the jar helps with that. So please play along. And if you do, oh my gosh, I would love to see your stuff. I really, really, really would. You can get me on Facebook. I have a Facebook group there. Everything is down in the description below. And hey, y'all, if you've not subscribed, please do so. That's going to help my channel to grow. And I really, really want to grow it this year. I'm working so hard to grow my channel so that, um, you know, I can stick around. All right. I do have a goal in mind. And if I don't reach it by the end of the year, I'm going to have to say sara nara and I don't want to do that because I really do love spending time with y'all. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to turn us around and I'm going to uh, pour these out and we're going to see what we're doing today because I have no idea. All right, y'all. Let's do it. Let's turn it around. Okay, so here we are with the jar. I'm going to just shake it up. All right. What do we have? Oh no! My nemesis! No way! Oh, use paper mache. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Are we kidding, jar? You see, this is what I'm talking about. Oh no! Use paper freaking mache. <sighs> oh my gosh, y'all. I'm horrible at paper mache. I just am. Why did I even put that in there? What in the world am I going to use for a paper mache? All right. Well, the jar has spoken. So I'm going to have to think about what I want to do. Uh, paper mache. So I'm going to go to Pinterest and I'm going to look up some ideas for paper mache, maybe. And we'll go from there. All right. I will be back when I get an idea of what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to make a hot air balloon. I've attempted this before with these, this tissue paper, right? And it was a disaster. It did not work. I tried it when I first started my YouTube channel and I don't think I even put the video up because it did not work. Every time that I've tried to do paper mache, it always is a fail because I try to do the DIY thing and use water and glue. This time, <laughs> I'm using the real Mod Podge. I'm using the real McCoy, y'all. So, we'll see if it's going to work. I don't know. And then I've got these little twigs that I'm going to try to use to make my basket. So, I think a hot air balloon would look so cute hanging in my studio. So, I'm going to blow up this hair balloon. I'm not going to blow it up. I do not think as big as this will get because this I think is going to be a really big balloon. So, but I don't want my basket to be too big. So, but I'm going to blow up the balloon. Okay. I think that big is good. That's a nice size little, little balloon, little hot air balloon, right? I don't want it huge. So I think that'll be cute and I'm going to set it on my jar. Whoa. Uh, maybe not this jar. I don't want to ruin my, my good jar. Put it maybe in this jar. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I am just going to start at the top and we all know how this works or supposed to anyway so this is going to be tedious and boring to watch I'm sure Thank you. 
I'm really slathering this crap on. Because <laughs> I have a feeling that is what my problem is. I'm so like, ooh, I don't want to waste my supplies. So I'm going to barely put anything on. And then I don't put enough on, maybe. I don't know. Okay, this might just work, y'all. I don't okay well i got it covered i mean i went all the way almost to, i only have this little part left which is probably going to be a mistake but i'm going to let it dry and then i'm going to put another coat of mod podge where it's dry that way you know i'm gonna get good y'all it's gonna work this time i hope all right so let this dry. I'm going to let it dry for actually probably all day. And uh, I'll see you when it's dry. Okay. Y'all, I don't care what I do. I just cannot seem to get the hang of freaking paper mache. Oh my gosh. What am I doing wrong? I mean, the balloon deflated. Did I have a bad balloon in there? I don't know. Okay, well, here it is. Y'all, I have never in my life been able to do paper mache. I can even remember in fifth grade, we had a project that we had to do paper mache for. I think it was for like uh, the planets or something. And I couldn't even do it then in fifth grade. Still can't do it as a full-grown adult. Y'all, it's, I, maybe it's me, but I thought paper mache was supposed to be hard, right? Like, it's supposed to keep its shape, and it's supposed to be hard. This is very flexible. It is not hard. I used the Mod Podge. Am I using the wrong Mod Podge? I mean, I don't know what else to do. I've tried Glue and water, that doesn't work. I know you can use flour and water. Maybe that's what I need to use. I don't know. I'm gonna do some investigating and I'm gonna see why this did not work. I mean, I could probably stuff it, but that's not the point of paper mache, I don't think. I don't think you're supposed to stuff it. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look a little bit uh, more in depth on why this is happening and what I could do to make it stop. Cause I want a hot air balloon and a paper mache. Not this. I don't know what to do that. All right. I will be back once I do some research. Okay. So, it's a Martha Stewart thing. I didn't read it. I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's right. I tried to do a hot air balloon before. And this is pretty much what happened before. But I know after reading the Martha Stewart steps on what you do, she uses newspapers, which is fine. Um, and she uses Wyatt. Uh, white glue and water mixture, which is okay, fine as well. Um, but she puts three layers of mod of the newspaper and stuff to make it strong. And then it even says if the dry paper mache is too wrinkled or bumpy, sand it smooth. Dudes, I couldn't sand this if I wanted to. It's so flimsy <sighs> so but my issue is this too y'all saw my balloon was already deflated it deflates when I do this so I'm guessing you don't let the paper mache dry completely when you're adding the layers on you just keep adding your three layers and then you let it dry I'm guessing that's what you have to do so we're going to try this again, and I'm going to use a newspaper, if I can find a newspaper. I don't think I even have a newspaper around. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the Mod Podge, though. Maybe. I'm going to do a little bit more research and see if the water glue mixture is even better. So, but I will be back when I get all my ducks in a row. We're going to do this this time, y'all. I mean it. Okay. So, I have made up a flour paste. It's still hot. I just took it off the stove. Two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and a cup of water. 
I'm going to let this cool. And I do not have newspaper, but I did read that you could use shop towels. And I do have a roll of shop towels here. I would venture to say one sheet will do me, but I will do two just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut them. Um, I'm just going to cut them in strips about this wide, I think. I'm only going to cut one sheet, and then if I need another, I will cut it. Hopefully, this will work. This is what I read. Uh, you could use just flour and water, not without cooking it. Oh, yeah, I had to cook this. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you put a cup of water, two tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour in the, your pan, pot, and then you whisk it so you get all the lumps out and then you turn your eye on to medium let it cook for till it starts to thicken you're stirring constantly and then once it starts to thicken you keep cutting until it um until it bubbles and then take it off and then that should be that so we just have to let it cool i'm actually i think i'm going to cut these because if I'm making it this big, I think these would be too long. So, but I have to remember I am here. I'm going to cut off. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to blow up the balloon again. My last balloon. So I hope this works. And I am going to do three layers, like what was suggested on the Martha Stewart website. And we will see. So I'm going to blow this balloon up. Let's make a big, big one. I'm going to make it, let's see. Throwing it that big. Maybe not quite that big. Maybe like this big. That way I don't have to cut too much of this off. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can't move this out. All right. So I've got my gunk here. I'm going to put it in the mixture and then I'm going to kind of squeegee it with my fingers, right? Because you don't want too much of this stuff, I wouldn't think. Alright, and then I guess we just lay it onto the balloon like so. I'm going to smooth it out the best that I can. And then that's just all we do, right? And this is going to fall because <laughs> of the weight. Here, I'm going to put it on its... there. That way you can use two hands. Put your bag like that. And since I'm going to put like two or three rounds on here... I'm not going to worry too much if the uh, there's space, you know, in between. Because I will fill it with my other layers. Okay, so I have the first layer on. And uh, what an oogie mess. I'm afraid I've put too much of the glue on there but it was all that I can do and I'm quickly cleaning up wherever it may have fallen so that my desk won't get hard stuff on it okay so I had to use another paper towel 
half of one. So, so far I've used two and a half. Now I'm about to cut two more because what I think I want to do, I'll show you, is because this is so wet, I'm just going to lay these on top like this and they will stick and then I will go over with a, um, with a paintbrush and kind of do the other, put another thing on there. This is the problem. It wants to move because of the balance, you know. So, I'm just going to cut up two more of these chop towels and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I'm going to just take my hand and slather it on that way. Okie dokie. So here we are. Um, it's not been quite 24 hours. This thing is still wet. However, look, the balloon has kept its shape. So I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, hopeful. Some of it is dry, uh, but some of it, like it was on the... Uh, jar like this so this side is still wet so I'm gonna try to just hopefully put it on my jar like this and wait a few more hours and I think we may be successful I'm not even going to attempt to sand it as she said because I don't know if that will work but getting it this far has excited me <laughs> I'm telling y'all, whew. All right, I, I mean, I really am. See how wet that is? I mean, that is still sopping wet right there and right there, but that's where it was on the jar. So, let's hopefully let this dry. I may try to blow dry it again. I did that for a little bit yesterday. Yeah, that is totally dry and that's hard right there. So, ooh, I'm excited y'all, it just might work. And we're just going to leave it like this, and I'm going to paint it, even though it's going to look like crap, all bumpy and stuff. But, hey, one, one, one success at a time, right? It's just this good enough that I got this on here, and the balloon is still inflated, and it didn't turn into that, you know? So, all right, I'm going to let it, I'm going to try to dry it, and I'll be back. Oh my god y'all look oh my god i was blowing it dry and look what it's doing oh no oh no why why oh my god it's gonna pop it's gonna pop it is gonna pop i did put it on a higher you know i put it on high or usually i do it on low oh my gosh please go down oh my gosh oh my gosh it's gonna be deformed now <laughs> ah, i should have just left it alone but look that is still so wet right there come on go down you're okay Ooh, okay, we're not going to do that. I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to set it back over. <clears throat> and hopefully that's not going to hurt anything. Okay, we're going to let it alone. Oh, no. Oh, now I'm sad. It was looking so good, too, y'all. Dang it. Okay, now look at it. <laughs> what I did was I put it in front of my little space heater. And uh, I left it. I had things I was working on. And uh, to be honest, I totally forgot. I come in and now it's deformed up this way. But I'm going to go ahead and let's do this thing. All right, I'm going to pop it. So it's going to be loud. Ew, I'm scared. All right. Again, I've never gotten this far, so hey, I consider this a success, even though it looks crazy. <laughs> um, I really wish I would have gone, if I would have gone further down, um, but I tell you what I'm going to do. 
I mean, this is all because the balloon went booby, and it is still wet right there. It is like very wet there. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna try to do. Ugh. I want it. Tell you, I feel like going like this with it. Even though the top, um, let's see. I'm gonna use another shop towel for the top. Cut off a little strip. And we'll patch this hole up at the top. I don't know. Like I said. We just need a little. Okay, like that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fluid matte medium. Because I know that will dry pretty quickly. Look at this hole, y'all. Okay, so I'm just going to put that over like this. Alright, I, you know, like I said, I've never ever been successful with paper mache. This is the most successful I've ever gotten. So, I'm quite happy, <laughs> actually. I know that's crazy because it looks crazy, but I really am happy with the way this has turned out. Because now I know the recipe and I know what I need to do. To use the recipe you know all right I mean this is looking weird but I'm okay with it right it's okay let's see I wonder if like I said this is still so wet right down there well, if, I'm gonna just try it gonna try using this matte medium over it. Wait, let me. I'm just taking a brush in here to kind of poke that out a little bit to make it more round. Y'all, not bad. I mean, not the best. Not, not by any imagination is that the best. But for me, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm going to dry this with the hair dryer now that the balloon is gone. I think that was some of the problem. The balloon <laughs> just went crazy. So I will be back when I get this dry. Okay, well I'm letting that dry. Um, I did hit it with a hair dryer for a few minutes. For probably about a minute. But I figure by the time we get done with the basket, it will be finished. Okay, so here is our balloon. I think the basket itself is big enough. I don't think I'm going to cut any of it. But I am going to paint it. And uh, let's see, what color do I want it to be? I want it to be a nice, I want it to kind of match the balloon. And I think I'm going to go with the peak, peacock teal. Uh, just. So I'm just going to probably put two coats of the peacock teal onto the Okay, so this is dried now, and what I'm going to do is come down, 
as far as this will go, uh, maybe halfway. And then I'm going to go over on the other side and try to line it up. And punch these little holes in four areas. And I'm going to decorate this with my Posca pins. I'm going to draw a little hearts on here and pinks and greens I think, blues, light blue. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to grab my gel pen, my thin, my uh, fine tipped one and I'm going to try not to put my finger in the paint and I'm going to just go over these little hearts. Aww. Then I think Why does this white never work? I'm making like little clouds. Now there's my basket. Oh, isn't it cute? I'm gonna let it dry before I move on to the next step, dry. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to paint this, that same peacock teal. Okay, so I have it done. Oh, it's drying. Just move it out of the way. I've only put one coat on it. Um, because again, this is not like the best looking thing ever on the planet. So I really don't want to waste too much paint on it. But I do want to kind of make it look nice. So now I'm going to take, now that this is dry, I've got this little ribbon with little pom-poms. And I think I'm going to glue the little pom-poms around like so. And I think I'm going to just use my hot glue gun. Okay. So, just going to cut it right there. Okay. Oh. I forgot. Hold on. Alright, so there's the little basket. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is pretty much dry. I took some vinyl and I cut out like little flower hearts because what I want to do is... Eleven inches. So I'm just gonna cut this ribbon eleven inches. So I'm cutting it four times, eleven inches. We can decorate the balloon. with the Posca pins like we did the baskets. So I'm just gonna put some hearts on there and some clouds like I did before and I will 
go over them with a the gel pen just like we did with the basket I think it'll look cute okay so now I'm going to just take my ribbon here and I'm gonna go ahead and just take the vinyl that I've cut out the little flowers designs whatever you want to call them and I'm just going to hook it like so and I'm gonna try to make it as even as that even as I can okay this needs to come down quite a bit All right, now I'll just feed the ribbon through the cup. cute considering um, I'm no paper mache person but I think it turned out adorable oh isn't it cute so there it is there's my <laughs> crazy hot air balloon all right y'all well, thanks so much for watching, even though it was a train wreck and a half. Um, but uh, that's what happens when you're challenged, right? That's why it's called a challenge, to do things that you normally would not do. And I have never been good with paper mache. And uh, I've held true to that. <laughs> but I did get better, so I'm happy with that. Um, I mean, I got halfway there I would say now I understand it a little bit better and um, so yeah I'm happy with it is it perfect no does it even look like an adult did it no <laughs> but it is what it is and uh, I think it's cute so all right y'all well thanks for watching uh, if you enjoy the series, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. Please, please, please subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Um, that will just help my channel to grow and I would appreciate it so much because I am truly really trying uh, to grow my channel this year so that I can continue to do videos because I really do enjoy them. Um, Alright y'all, well thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye! Okay, so this is what my hot air balloon looks like. Hanging a little better. Hopefully y'all can see. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all, I am very thrilled that uh, I figured out paper mache. All right.